Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Today's video, we are going to see how we can change our dealing DIR615 router password and create one more SSID or Wi-Fi password for our neighbor and our guest. Imagine a situation that you have not changed your password for a very long time and for the security reason, you want to change the password, right? So it's always recommended to change the password after some time or a certain interval. And the other reason could be like um, you have shared your password with your neighbors and now suddenly you think of uh, changing the password. And there could be another reason that you have a business and you have shared your password with your staff or, uh, or your nearby people and now it's time to change your password. So this could be the couple of reasons you want to change the password. So I'll show you how you can change your password on the D-Link router. And as a bonus, in the last, I'll show you how you can create a additional SSID. I mean, the secondary Wi-Fi name, which can use, which you can use for the sharing purpose. The first one, primary, would be will be completely for you and your business purpose. And second Wi-Fi, you can use it for your neighbors and others. So let's get in a video and uh, try to configure this Wi-Fi. Okay, so let me bring my browser here. This is my browser, and let me log in to my D-Link router and this is my d-link router and let me log in so you can see here i am trying to log in to this ip address my router ip address here and uh, password once you are in home menu what we have to do is we have to go to settings and you have to click on the wireless network in the wireless network you can see here this is my ssid name by wi wi-fi name here and when i come back you can see here this is the WPA2 PSK. This is in the security settings. You can see this WPA2 PSK. And there are multiple options here, but I would suggest to go with the WPA2 PSK. And here is the password. This is the password which you have shared with your friends and colleagues or your neighbors. You can change the password from here. So let me change my password from here. And then you can apply it. So after applying the password, this is going to change. Now you can see your password has changed. When you check in your mobile phone or your laptop, the password set, it will be changed. I'll show you one more thing. Like this is your, now it's time to change your Wi-Fi name, SSID name. So you can see here the Wi-Fi name is DIR615 and this is the number which is given. I want to change my company name or my house name or something like that. Let's say my, um, um, I want to change like my home Wi-Fi. I want to change this name as this one. So you can change your name, name like this and everything will be as it is. The password which you have changed will be as it is. We are not going to touch that password and just click on the apply. So when you click on the apply, your password has changed now. You can check your mobile phone or laptop. It will show you this system, uh, this Wi-Fi name. If you can show it to you, one second. And one more thing, additional thing which I'm going to show you here is like, uh, let's say this is my home, my home password is a primary. This is for me and my family. And now I want to create an additional one for you know, maybe someone ask for some guest has come or uh, maybe for neighbors or someone. If someone asks, you can, if you want to give them uh, the password, don't give the primary SSID password. You can give the secondary one. So how you can create the second one is we have to go down and you can see here, here the option called add Wi-Fi network. Just click here. And now it's, you can see here my home Wi-Fi. So you can see that uh, G U S T guest Wi-Fi. You can see your guest Wi-Fi. And then here is asking for the password. Just change the password. And if you can come down and then click on the apply. Now your router will broadcast to Wi-Fi. The first one is your my home. You can see here names, my home Wi-Fi and the guest Wi-Fi. So when you check in your mobile phone or your uh, laptops, you will get uh, two these names here. In some scenarios, like uh, if you want to disable your Wi-Fi temporarily, right? Like sometime, um, um, let's say uh, you don't want to use the Wi-Fi. You have all your, your devices are the wired devices and you don't want your device to uh, broadcast your SSID. I mean, it will show the, all these two, the name, all two names. So what you can do is you can hear you, here you have an option, enable wireless, just click here and it's got disable. 
so your router will not broadcast i mean not not show the wi-fi name it will not broadcast the wi-fi name and click on the apply and this is how you can disable the uh, wi-fi complete the both the wi-fi will be got disable after uh, disabling in uh, this option now it's time to enable it so click enable and click on the apply that's it and now you okay, if you go back to your uh, wireless devices mobile phone or laptop these two options will show up so i think uh, that's it for today's video if you have any questions concern or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video